So I'm still recovering a little from being sick and I don't know if you can hear but I'm a bit congested so please bear with me. This week I started where I left off before the BHI sent me the exam materials. So I'm just going to jump straight into it. You know when life just keeps beating you in the face repeatedly and won't let you get back up? Well this week has kind of been like that for me. So I love to use Dicom layout fluid, especially in this little bottle which is felt tipped and um, I can just use it sort of like a sharpie or a texter. What I found was that sometimes the felt material would dry up the top so it became a habit for me that when I was using it I'd squeeze the bottle when it was upside down and on Wednesday night, I must have squeezed too hard and the whole cap popped off and Dicom layout fluid went everywhere. It was worse, but it's still really bad. I mean, my hands, I, I literally looked like a sunburnt smurf. But the worst bit is, let me show you. So there's Dicom all over the floor. It got onto the workbench and the worst part of all guys is that it got onto the lathe and I can't seem to remove it from the painted areas without taking the paint off. I used denatured alcohol and methylated spirits to use it on the bare metal sections but no success whatsoever on the painted areas. So if you guys know or have experience in removing Dicom layout fluid from painted surfaces without damaging the painted surfaces, please get in contact with me and let me know. I'm quite devastated over the whole situation. I just want to quickly touch on one step during the hardening process for the screws. I use this boric acid powder. I mix it with some denatured alcohol or methylated spirits as we call it here. And what that does, it gives a coating so that oxygen doesn't sit on the surface of the steel. And when it is heated to a cherry red and quench, it doesn't get that black scale. Um, across the material because sometimes it can be hard to remove and the screws are quite small and delicate So when I was reading up about this process the one that made the most sense was to use the alcohol instead of water like some people uh, do use um, Basically the theory behind it is that the alcohol will evaporate completely um, With no sort of residue the alcohol method made more sense in theory before I'd even tried it That's the one I used and because it worked I just stuck with it So now I'm going to give these a quick polish then temper them. I'm not going to polish them too much. I'm not worried about the appearance of them. They're just a utility screw. They're not going to be in a watch so I'm not going to waste too much time with that. So I'm just rounding off the ends of the screws to make them smoother. I'm just using a 400 grit emery on a cork block. So since my last video I've had a few questions about the British Horological Institute and the watchmaking course that they run. So I thought I'd give a bit of an overview on um, the BHI. 
so that anyone who's interested can sort of um, know a bit more about it and if they want to go further they can look up the website and uh, go into all the specifics. So the BHI was established in 1858. So the Institute is over 150 years old and their role is to set the standards in the UK for horological practices and also to provide training and education. And so anyone in the world who has an interest in horology can join and become an associate member of the British Horological Institute. Um, they don't have any barriers whatsoever. They're the only uh, educational institute that allows people from across the world to gain accredited certification in watch or clock making um, where they can do it via distance and learn at their own pace. Um, not everyone, including myself, have the opportunity to be able to go into a watchmaking school full time. Um, so it is really good that the Institute give everyone an alternate option. So there's basically three levels of membership. So the first one is an associate member. So anyone who joins um, will become an associate member. They gain um, access to the members area of the website, which has electronic versions of their magazine. They also get the magazine in print posted to your house. So the Horological Journal is a monthly magazine. Um, it's pretty good. I enjoy it. I enjoy reading it. And also you'll get privileged access to the BHI Museum and Archives if you visit them at Upton Hall. The other two levels of membership are Member BHI and Fellow BHI. And it's only possible to obtain those memberships via accreditation. So you have to complete um, certain units of study and pass the exams for them. And they have three levels of diploma the Diploma of Watch or Clock Servicing, and it requires three units of study. The second one is a level four, which is the Diploma of Servicing or Repair of Clocks or Watches. Um, once you pass the nine units of study required for that diploma, then you become a, an accredited member BHI and MBHI. Um, just before I continue, there's also two pathways. So you can either go through the watch pathway or the clock pathway. Um, I wanted to initially go through both, but I found out that you can't get a diploma for both of them. You can get a diploma for one, and if you completely the units of study for say clocks, but you only get an accreditation from the BHI, you won't get a formal diploma. That's the way I interpret it. And so lastly, there's the level five diploma, which is the diploma in the repair, restoration and conservation of clocks or watches. And basically there's 10 units, there's 10 units of study that you need to complete and you will become an FBHI. So you become a fellow BHI, which is the highest ranking membership, I believe, unless you're on the board of directors or something. So the BHI currently have two courses. First is the technician grade course and the second one they call the intermediate and final grade. So the technician is the level three and the intermediate and final is the um, level four and five. And so basically you can purchase either one or you can purchase both. You go through that coursework at your own pace and when you think you're ready that you can pass some a unit or a couple of units, um, then you can register for the exams which are at the beginning of the year and sit the exam which is around the May June time the exams only run once a year so if you don't register in January um, you're gonna miss out um, and the great thing is that the exams are taken at the exact same time and date for everyone around the world I just want to mention also that in the level 4 and level 5 diplomas so the accredited diplomas um, <clears throat> there's a couple units that can't be completed in your country of origin you have to go to the uk from a personal point of view i really like the course um, everyone who i've been in contact with through the bhi has been super friendly i think maybe the bhi can do a little better in terms of connecting the the, um, the bhi the tutors and the students together i know before when i first started that there was a, in the members area of the website there was forums where even though there was only a handful of people on there, the questions got answered and there was a tutor and there was a member on there who would answer most of the questions. Um, but now since they updated the site, um, that sort of function is gone. I don't know if they're going to bring it back, but yeah, even if they had some sort of presence on social media or some way just to get a quick response, 
that would be really helpful and also it'd be a blanket sort of statement for all distance courses is because you're learning something that you don't really know so it's hard right and you don't always have access to someone who's going to be able to help you or teach you or show you so um, that's why I created some videos at the beginning with the watchmakers lathe and I want to create some more um, in the very near future as well to as a continuation to that because when I was going through it there, there was nothing there to help me and and when you don't have access to anything it can be a bit demotivating and it can get and it can feel quite lonely and isolated so wrap up the BHI overview and what to really think about if you want more information you can go to the BHI website I put the link in the description and I think I'm gonna wrap this video up here I should be releasing another video at the end of this week um, in terms of progress in terms of more progress for the watch so please stay tuned if all goes well I don't want, I don't want to jinx it so I'm hoping that everything goes well Thanks for tuning in and watching. I hope you've enjoyed this episode and I look forward to seeing you next time. And as always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see any of my upcoming videos, hit that subscribe button. And if you have any questions or something you want to say, feel free to leave it in the comment section below.